What's going on guys, Aldrin Stasio here with FlightPath.com. Now here I have the EB-150. This of course is from Max Oak, the Blue Yeti. If you guys haven't seen my previous video, I actually did a video on this one right here, which is the AC-50. Now these are both the battery power stations, so if you are in the field and you want to fully charge up all of your gear, if you guys haven't seen that video on this one, I would normally take this and have this in my car, power up all my drone stuff as well as my tablet, phones. This is able to do that as well, but the difference here of course, we have a lot bigger capacity. Now Maxwell actually sent me this a little while ago and the thing was, as I was able to test out the AC-150 a lot more in the beginning of the year because I was traveling a lot more so this was in the back of my car all the time. And then when I was able to finally get over to testing this one out, this whole issue came up. Now right after about one of the limitations you'll see of course with something that has a smaller battery capacity is that you're not able to power up larger appliances. Now something like this was perfect because it's light, it's like 13 or 14 pounds. I'm able to power up all my gear, my laptop, all my action cameras, my camera gear, my drone batteries, all off of this while I was in the field. Now, of course, one of the biggest benefits of having something like a battery powered one is you're not dealing with gas where you need to be outside or worrying about fumes. Everything is powered up through these batteries here. Now, while small devices are easily charged through something like this, I did have some limitations because of the fact that I've been home for the past few months now. And what I want to do now to test out something like this is see if I can use the EB-150 to power up a lot of my larger appliances here at home compared to something like this, where the max output on this is a continuous 300 watts, or here we have a max continuous of 1000 watts. So this video is gonna show you what I was able to power up off of the EB-150, see what worked, what didn't work, kind of where that breaking point was as far as what this thing can hold, what this thing can power up. And if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Aldrin Astacio. I do a lot of drone tech tips, tutorials, and product reviews right here on this channel. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing and also hitting that bell to be notified when I post the new videos. And before I test it out, I just want to show you quickly what is on the front and the rear of the Maxo EB-150. Here we have the LCD screen right up front to let you know how much battery power you have. Shows you the input and the output, whether it's DC or AC. We have, of course can turn the AC or DC on with these switches right here. Input wise, if you wanted to plug this directly into your wall and charge it from your wall outlet, it takes about 10 hours to fully charge this up. Or if you have solar panels, you're able to daisy chain those together. Also get 200 watts of solar power into this and also take takes about 10 hours. On the front we have four five volt USB ports right here on the very front as well as a USB-C. Also if you have something that powers up off of something like a cigarette lighter, we have a DC 12 volt cigarette lighter right here on the front. And then of course on the back is the important one. We have the full AC outlets here on the back, the 110 volt. We have two of those right here, nice large fan. Now this one definitely is a little bit heavier. This is 37 pounds versus the AC 50 which is about 13 or 14 pounds. Uh, definitely has a lot more capacity compared to the AC-50. Of course, it's gonna need that to power up some of these larger appliances. All right, so I got almost all the ports plugged in. I have two on the back, which is powering up my batteries right now. I have three up front on the USB, and then I also have the USB-C uh, port plugged in. On the back, I have the Mavic Air 2. That's charging up my battery right there. I have the Autel Evo battery, powering up the Mavic Air 2 remote control, Mavic 2 Pro remote, got the Evo remote, and that's charging up, and then also my iPad is charging up. As you can see, I'm barely drawing any power DC, I got 22 watts, and then AC, I got 207. Next up, we'll use is a little wet dry vac. Rice, which is already powering up, just hit cook. And that's starting to use up 266. We are powered up, so it did not trip the box using. Right here you can see 307 watts. Drawing in all of that to reheat the water. So anything that deals with normally with heat, hair dryers, personal heaters, those pull in a lot of power, a lot of energy. All right, next test we have is a iron. So let's see if this will power up the iron. Right now it is plugged all the way around to the back. Let's power this on right now. Now that we're plugged in, turn the AC on. 
and ooh, it jumped up real quick. And there you go, as you can see, it jumped up past the 1200, already hit all the way up to 1400. And of course, the safety power went down. That's on air fry, power AC back on. Let's see what it draws. Aha. All right, so this one is actually pulling in about 15 to 1600 watts. And this one will not power up off of this. And plug it into the back. So we are plugged into the back of it. Turn my AC on, same way we have. All right, so let's try this one and power this on. And here it goes, it's climbing. Over 1200. So over 1200, it went all the way up to 1200 and of course tripped the safety. It does not go over 1200. If it's under 1200, between 1000 and 1200 watts, it will actually run for about two minutes. But this one, as you can see, it went well over 1200. So it did give me the error and that safety switch powered it down. All right, I'm in the bathroom now. We have a couple things I wanna test out here. Here's a little flat iron and as far as the power, it is using up about 142 watts. Here we have a pretty standard hair dryer. I'm getting about 454 watts being used. That is at the first setting. There's actually two, so that's pretty much on like the low or the medium. Now let's go on to the high. We have the hair dryer right here. This one is currently using 800. Now overall, I'm pretty impressed with the build quality of the Max Oak, but the only thing, as you guys saw in the video, it did cap out on a couple of my appliances and some of my devices, where it did go over that threshold of 1,000 watts continuous. Now yeah, it could go from 1,000 to 1,200, but it only goes up to that for about two minutes. Now Max Oak actually has a new one called the AC200 that's supposed to be releasing next month, and that one's supposed to have a 2,000 watt inverter. So now something that I would definitely be looking at, especially if I had something that I'm gonna use in the field a lot more, like in an RV or a camper, and you're gonna always want that battery pack to be active and when they come out with it they're gonna have a massive discount on it I believe it's only gonna be $9.99 and then it's gonna go up to regular price which I believe is $1,800 so I'll make sure that information is down below in the video description and that was the EB150 just some tests I was able to do with this one kind of using it for more in-home use what are the things I could power on with it? What are the things I'm not able to use? Where did it kind of max out at? So if you're the type that's always on the road or camping in general, something like this, whether it be something like the EV150 or even something smaller like the AC50, just having that peace of mind that you do have some extra battery power available for you, it's such a big deal and not have to worry about something like having gas or one of those bigger generators or inverters that you're gonna have to carry around. Something like this works really well. Now, first, one of the biggest deals with these things is that they don't come cheap. I mean, even something like the AC50 is still a few hundred bucks. I think this thing still runs about 400 bucks or so. And something like the EB150 will still be a little bit over a thousand dollars. This thing runs about 1200 or $1,300. And there's a bunch of coupons out there that I'll be able to post down below if you guys are interested in something like this. Now, of course, use cases are all gonna be different for me. I do a lot of drone and tech reviews where I might have a lot of my gear in my trunk. I'll normally have, you know, two or three drones, my laptop, two or three cameras, action cameras. So I'm gonna want something that's gonna charge all of that gear up while I'm in between shoots. And that's one of the main reasons why I got so interested in having battery power solutions because of the fact that I'm, I'm charging up on the road all the time. And I recently just got another battery pack that I'm gonna be testing out as well, comparing that one with this one right here. So if you guys wanna stay tuned for that one, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. As always guys, if you guys got some value from this video, a big like would be much appreciated. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos. Like I mentioned earlier, if you guys are interested in any of these battery packs, there's always a lot of discounts that are going around the internet. I'll make sure I leave any deals or discounts down below in the video description so make sure you guys check those out. This is Alter Sasio with flypath.com. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.